Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Welcome to the Daily Devotional of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. The Daily Fountain Devotional of 23rd April, Tuesday, 2024. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you. You are the creator of us all. And by you, you will have our being. Thank you, O God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, O God, for the steadfast love of yours that has kept us till today. Thank you, O God, for your mercies that are renewed over our lives each day. And thank you, O God, for bringing us into a new day. Lord, we give you all the glory. Receive thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Father, we have come again at this Church of Nigeria Daily Fountain Devotion that, Lord, as we listen to your word together, we ask, O oh God, that you will send your word of life to us. Lord, we ask that you will transform and change our life. We ask, O oh God, that you will lift us from the place where we were before and take us, O oh God, to where you want us to be through the power of your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because even you will lead us. Lord, as I open my mouth, Lord, we ask, O oh God, that I will just be a mere instrument. May you voice out to your people. Thank you, Father, because you have answered us. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Once again, we welcome you to the daily devotional of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion of the Daily Fountain for Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. The topic before us today is keep yourselves from sin. Keep yourselves from sin and our text is taken from first john chapter 5 we read from verse 14 to 21 first john chapter 5 we read from verse 14 to 21 and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he, he, that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. If any man see his brother sin, a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. This is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin. And there is a sin not unto death. We know that Whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is come, and hath given us and understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true even in his son Jesus Christ 
This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The topic once again is keep yourselves from sin. The writer of this epistle is Apostle John. And the date of writing was probably between AD 85 to 90 from Ephesus. The purpose was to reassure Christians in their faith and to counter false teaching. The letter is untitled and was written to no particular church. It was sent as a pastoral letter to several Gentile congregations. From the passage read, Apostle John was encouraging the leaders to live in fellowship with God and his son. He warned them against following false teaching that will destroy this fellowship. What is this false teaching? Because that time, there are false teachers who taught that salvation had nothing to do with the matter of morality or of love for others. That whatever you want to do, however you want to look, live your life, has nothing to do with God. That God has created you as a free moral agent. Just do whatever you want to do. As long as you have received Christ, it doesn't, have, it doesn't have anything to do with salvation. So many believers engage in sin while they claimed to be child of God. So in his concluding remark, he warned them by saying in verse 18, that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. He that is begotten of God, keepeth himself. Let me remind you that our topic is keeping yourselves from sin. Apostle John was advising and encouraging them as people who are born of God to keep themselves from sin. What is sin? Sin is an immoral act considered to be a transgression against divine law. Sin is a rebellion against God. Sin is wrongdoing or evil doing. Sin is offense. Sin is act of evil, wickedness. Sin is ungodliness. Sin is unrighteousness. Sin is falling from grace. Sin is blasphemy. Sin is the worst spiritual poison which destroys the soul of man. And God's verdict is simple. The Bible recorded in Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4 that the soul that sin shall die. We also so in our text that there is a sin unto death and there is a sin not unto death. According to verse 16 and 17, there are many schools of thought about what this sin that leads to death is and whether the death it causes is physical or spiritual death. The fact remains that most or every physical death is as a result of spiritual death. Most times when God talks about death, it connotes spiritual death. Adam and Eve at the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter 2, verse 17. God warned them not to eat 
the fruit that is in the garden. And God said, the day you eat of this fruit, you shall die. And the word, you shall die, the word death there means moot. In the Hebrew word, the Hebrew word of that word death is moot. And when you also look at the word death used in Ezekiel chapter 4, in Ezekiel, sorry, Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4, is the same word used in Genesis chapter 2 verse 17, which is the Hebrew name mot, which means death. So we saw that Adam and Eve died spiritual death when they disobeyed God. The sin that leads to death are sin against God and the Holy Spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, when we read from verse 27 to 30, verse 27 to 30, it says, Wherefore? Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of, the, of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, <coughs> eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not designing the lost body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. There's a version that says, and many have died for this reason. That is because someone drink the bread, uh, eat the bread and eat the wine and drink the wine unworthily, it cost, can cause death. But today in our world, people have go to the church and really partake in the, the communion and the body, the body and the blood of Christ. And they walk out of the church. And many of them ate and drank the, ate the bread and drank the wine unworthily. And they walk out, and it's as if nothing happened, not knowing that they have died spiritually. Not knowing, some of them are going home, causing, receiving sickness, instead of coming to receive healing to their bodies. People, in acts of the in the Acts of Apostles chapter 5, when we look at verse 1 to 11, the Bible says, In that place we saw Ananias and Sapphira lied to God and were struck dead. In Mark chapter 3 verse 29, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit also result in spiritual death. The, word, the words of God are the only principles that will guide our earthly pilgrimage. And once it's disobeyed, we face the consequences. Many in our world today are still living in sin. Sin of idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, envy, quarreling, fighting, jealousy, Rot, murder, and many are living in the sin of drunkenness, idolatry, fornication, uncleanness, corruption everywhere, stealing and lying, even in the church of God. A place where those things should not even be mentioned according to Apostle Paul. We can see all of these things happening today in the church of God. People are practicing all kinds of sin. 
and such people still claim to be the child of God. When we look at our world today, we see that even because of jealousy or wrath, because of envy or hatred, even ministers of God who are up there that people are looking up to have turned the pulpit, the stage where they preach, they've turned it to a place of critics against each other. Everyone, look at what is happening in Nigeria everywhere. Where this servant of God is fighting this one, and this one is replying this one, and this one is insulting this one, and the other one is also replying. And you say, what is this? How did we get here? It's just because we have refused to keep ourselves from sin. Our nation today is in mess. It's as a result of sin because we have not keep ourselves from sin. Corruption everywhere. People know the truth but have refused to do the truth or to say the truth. Even men of God, people who are entrusted with sacred things of God, have not really lead by example. Child of God, hear what the Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8 and 9. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God, do it not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. If we claim to be born of God, and we are still committing sin, are we saying that the Bible is lying, or we are the one deceiving ourselves? What manner of life are you living? What kind of life are you living? Dear listeners, are you born of God? If yes, why are you still living in sin? Why are you struggling to overcome a particular sin? I don't believe it should be so if you are born of God. Because the Bible said that the sin of the Lord remaineth in you. And for that purpose, you cannot sin. Underline that word. You cannot sin. The reason the Son of God was made manifest was to destroy the works of the devil in your life and in my life. And that can only be done if you truly and genuinely come to him and accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. If you truly receive the Lord Jesus and you allow him into your life and you allow him to take charge of your heart, that is when this can come to be. That is when the Lord will help you to overcome the power of sin. Are you listening to me? And you are in the bondage of sin. Why not come to the Lord Jesus? Who is the only one that can save you from the power of sin today? Come today because tomorrow may be too late for you. People are dying every, every day. Go on highway and see people dying by accident and whatever means. You don't know when the owner of your life will call you. Will you end your life in hell? Will you end your life in condemnation? Or you will want to end your life in heaven with the Lord? Are you listening to me and you truly want to receive Jesus so that he will help you out of this bondage of sin? Can you 
Pray, join me as we pray together. Say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for your word that has come to me. Lord, I confess my sins before you. Lord, I ask, O oh God, that I am feeble and helpless. I ask, O oh God, for your help, that I will be delivered from the bondage of sin that held me down. Lord, I ask, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will help me. I come to you as, and receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. I renounce the devil and reject all his activities. I take allegiance to you, Lord. Please help me, and I shall be helped. Save me, Lord, and I will be saved. Thank you, Father. Write my name in the book of life and remove my name from the book of hell. Help me, O God, to live the life that pleases you. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your word that has come to your people. Lord, we ask that you will help every one of us who have truly received your word, that in your mercy you will deliver us all from all evil. You will deliver us from the bondage of sin that separates us from you. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you will help us, that as we will continue our journey here on earth, that by your call we will be able to have a place with you in heaven. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.